Hi, my name is Tim Blankship with Divorce 661 here in Santa Clarita, and today we're talking about mediation. I want to give you a brief overview of what mediation is and when it would be useful when going through your divorce. So we are a licensed and bonded legal document preparation firm. We specialize in divorce only. Uh, what we do is we prepare legal documents. We'll get you through the, your entire divorce from start to finish um, as a paralegal would or in, as a law firm would. The only difference is we don't give legal advice or represent you in court. Sometimes when people come to us, uh, they're hoping that they're going to you know, go through the whole process on their own, come to all their agreements and things like that. But what happens when you can't agree? That's where mediation would be appropriate. Let's say you have a lot of the things figured out, but maybe you have a disagreement as to uh, custody of the children, or you have a disagreement regarding spousal support, or child support, or a distribution of your property. Where you have problems coming to an agreement, you can use a professional mediator to help you uh, come to those uh, decisions. And what they'll do essentially is explain the law to you. They're a neutral party. Uh, they'll sit down with both you and your spouse, explain the law so you can make informed decisions about how you want to make, uh, make decisions regarding your divorce. When it comes to divorce, there's only two ways it's going to end. Either you and your spouse are going to make an agreement or you're going to go to court and have a judge make the order. Hiring attorneys and using mediators and everything else in between, at the end of the day, it comes down to you and your spouse making an agreement that may be amicable, it may be highly contested, or through a court order. So we highly recommend uh, mediation if you are having difficulty coming to agreements. We have clients that come in here, we get started, they think everything's going to be fine, and we get three quarters through the, way, through the process and they realize they're stuck on a particular issue. I'll often re refer them out to a mediator, um, they'll get their mediation and then they'll come back to us and we'll, we'll wrap things up. When you are uh, going to mediate, if you're consider, me, considering mediation from the get-go and you know you're going to need a mediator, um, what I suggest you do is give us a call because you cannot start mediation with a mediation firm until you have gotten about three quarters of the way through the process. That means you have to file, you have to have the paperwork served, and both of you need to complete your financial disclosures. And we take care of all that for you as part of our, our fixed fee pricing when we're preparing your divorce. So what we recommend is before you call a mediation company, give us a call, let's get started, let's get the ball rolling, let's get uh, your spouse served so we can start the clock on that six month waiting period. Let's work out all your financial disclosures. Once all the financial disclosures are completed, then you can pick that up, walk into the mediation firm and start your mediation. You may find that starting with us, you may think you need mediation and then after we've done all the disclosures and financial paperwork, you may have just uh, worked things out on your own and saved some money on, on mediation to begin with. So the point of this video is if you are considering mediation, just give us a call. We'll be happy to talk with you. We'll be happy to give you a referral to a local Santa Clarita mediation firm uh, who are, we do a lot of business with. We can uh, talk to you about how we can get the ball rolling with you and uh, make this an easy, uh, as easy as possible uh, transition in your life. Tim Blankenship, Divorce661.com. Uh, you can go to that website for more information or uh, please give me a call. I'll be happy to, to speak with you. 661-281-0266. Thanks for watching.